What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to disable or enable your Internet Explorer 11. And this method is gonna work on Windows 10 and it's also gonna work on Windows Server. And your Windows version needs to be Windows 10 version 703 or higher. So first thing we need to do, we need to open PowerShell with admin rights. So press on start and type PowerShell. And then once you're gonna see PowerShell, right click on it and run as administrator. Then this window is gonna appear, just press yes. Or what you can do, you can just right click on your start button and press on PowerShell admin. And same thing, yes. And this window is gonna appear. Then you need to type this following command the ism space forward slash online space forward slash remove hyphen capability space capability name browser internet explorer and then this version number or you can just copy this command i'll leave this command in the description below and then press enter once it's going to go through this process then it's going to tell you to restart your system just press y here and it will restart your system. And then once your system reboots, you can see that my Internet Explorer icon disappeared from here. And then this one changed to just a generic icon. And if you double click on it, it can't find the actual program. And it's asking if you would like to delete the shortcut. And then you can press yes. And then, for example, if you press on start and you type Internet Explorer, it will bring you Microsoft Edge instead of Internet Explorer. And then, for example, if you decide and you change your mind and you need to use your Internet Explorer for some kind of specific program or application or something, same thing we need to do. We need to open PowerShell as administrator. And then right here, we need to type following command. So basically, in this command, the difference is instead of remove, it just add. So it's going to add this feature. And also, I'm going to leave this command in the description below. And then press Enter. And once this process is done, same thing again. You need to restart your system. Just press on Y here. And then once your system reboots, and if you press on start and type Internet Explorer, as you can see, Internet Explorer is back on your system. And this is pretty much it. If this video is helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.